Hey beautiful souls, I'm Shrikant from English House. I think it's fair to say that sounds are the building blocks of a spoken language. Therefore, in this video, I'm going to be talking about voiced and unvoiced sounds in English. Voiced sounds are produced by the vibration of our vocal cords and unvoiced sounds are produced by the air flowing out of your mouth. All vowel sounds are voiced sounds and consonant sounds can be both voiced and unvoiced. So let's take a look at some of the unvoiced consonant sounds. The S sound, S, the P sound, P, P, the K sound, K, K, the T sound, T, T, the CH sound, Ch, Ch, the SH sound, Sh. It's interesting that all of this unvoiced sounds has a voiced pair. Add voice to the S sound, we get the Z sound. Z, adding voice to the P sound, we get the B sound, B, B. Adding voice to the K sound, we get the G sound, G, G. Adding voice to the T sound, we get the D sound, D, D. Adding voice to the C, H sound, we get the J sound, J. Adding voice to the S, H sound, we get the Z, H sound, Z. Let me show you an interesting activity where you could experience the difference between voiced and unvoiced sounds. Place your fingers on your vocal cord and try to produce a voice sound. For example, let's say the Z sound, Z. Z. Now make the unvoiced version of the Z sound, the S sound. S, S. Now you can feel that while producing a voice sound, you can feel a vibration on your vocal cord because the sound is produced by our vocal cords. Well, there are certain sounds in English, certain voice sounds in English, which do not have an unvoiced pair. For example, the M sound, mm, the N sound, mm, the NG sound, mm, the L sound, L, and the R sound. R. So that was it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to know more about our course, please click on the link in the description. So thank you for watching. See you next time. Until then, bye bye. Take care and stay safe. English House. English at your fingertips.